this video, I'm going to share with you how you can uplift your professional as well as your personal life by practicing good manners. I'm going to answer 10 most important but most commonly asked questions. So please watch the video till it's end. Namaskar, I'm Lata Sabarwal and thank you so much for watching my channel. If you are new to my channel, then please hit the subscribe button below. My channel is all about inspiring you to live beautiful, successful, healthy and meaningful lives by creating the desired image. By practicing good manners, you create a positive and lasting impact in social as well as professional business situations. In any situation in life, if you are practicing good manners, then you feel more relaxed, more confident and more capable of handling any situation. So what are good manners? Good manners are simply being kind, considerate and sensitive to other people's needs and to other people's thoughts. That's it. How do we practice good manners? The integral part of good manners is respect. Respect is at the heart of good manners. You must have heard this saying, do unto others the way you want to be treated. So by respecting others, you are empowering yourself. By respecting others, you are creating respect for yourself in the eyes of other people. So respect is the integral part is the heart of good balance. Often I'm asked this question, is there a difference between good manners and etiquette? Good manners are the way you deal with people, the way you treat other people. And etiquette are how you will deal with other people and how you will treat other people. So I'll say that etiquette in business setting are a little formal thing and good manners we practice everywhere at home, in social life, in business, everywhere. So what are good manners of greeting someone in a social setting and in a business setting? In a social setting, if you are a woman, you can greet anyone who enters the room while seated. You can shake hands, say namaste while seated, it's absolutely fine. But in a business setting, Mostly people are treated equal or genderless, we can say. So both men and women have to stand and greet the person, whoever comes inside. If you are a woman, so should you open the door for a man? Or a man has to do it always? Okay, suppose we are going for a business meeting and I'm going to enter inside and I see man or my colleague who's holding a load of files or books or a laptop and he's in a difficult situation not able to open the door smoothly. So a woman can definitely open the door for him. In social situations, usually we don't have much load in our hands. So men should open it for women. But yes, if a woman finds that the man has a lot of stuff in his hand or there is some difficulty, then she can go ahead and open the door as a sign of good manners. So how are you going to introduce people? Introduction is one of the most important things in good manners. It is very essential to introduce each other or to introduce your friends to other friends even if the meeting is happening for a very brief time. Use full names while introducing. It sounds very good. For example, I'll say Halil. I'm Lata Sabarwal and you are. In business situations, we introduce according to the authority or ranking. For example, if I have to introduce my director and the assistant director to my friend, so I will say that this is Mr. Shah, he's the director of our show and this is Mr. Ajay, he is the assistant director of the show and this is my friend so and so. That is how. So if you have to introduce your chairman and the employee, then you are going to introduce your chairman first and then the employee. 
So always keep in mind that in business situations, authority and ranking is always considered while introducing someone. Is it good to be punctual or to be fashionably late? It is definitely 100% always good to be punctual because being punctual always adds on to your good character. Mr. Amitabh Bachchan is a very, very big example of this. He is very punctual, always on time. So if you are being genuinely late due to some genuine reasons, please keep the person in charge informed or the host informed that you are coming late due to this and this reason. How are you going to react or respond in a heated discussion? Always respect other people's ideas, other people's thoughts, their perspectives, no matter what you actually think. Always respect their viewpoints. And if you want to add on, just start by saying, I personally think. Always remember, I personally think because that is your perspective, your thought. Then the other people won't mind if you start by saying, I personally think that this is not right or I personally think that this should have happened. Do you need to correct the other person when he's speaking in public and has made a grammatical mistake or there is a slip of tongue? Ideally, no. You can correct, but do that later privately. So what is the golden rule? The golden rule is that do not interrupt when someone other is in the middle of something, speaking something or discussing something and do not complete their sentences. It is considered as very, very rude. And now the last question, how to take leave or say goodbye? Your goodbyes are as important as your introduction. So do not leave in a hurry. Take your time, nicely say goodbye to everyone and always thank your host. If possible, before leaving, say something nice or positive about the meeting or the dinner or the lunch. Positive words are always remembered by people. Hope you like this video. Do write to me in the comment box. Be with me. Keep watching as I watch you grow.